Well, if you can hear me, as you can see, I am back in God's country and out of hell or Californication. And if you anybody gives me crap and wants to leave my YouTube channel or anything else because I hate California, goodbye. I still live there part time because I have to. My mom got sick, died of brain cancer. My dad's all alone. No one's taking care of him. Someone's got to take care of him. But I personally would like to live up here. Look how beautiful it is. When I lived up here with my ex, uh, I miss living up here. I don't miss her at all. <laughs> it's here. Zero down solar. I say down with solar zero. I just bought a top of the line weather station for my house uh, in California. And we had four days of clouds, three days of clouds. And I'm gonna get these birds on camera. And now, uh, no weather. I can't get anything outside because it can't charge the uh, battery long enough. Look at what are these pheasants? Uh, uh, no, they're uh, what do you call them with the big long tails? They just don't have them. Look at these things. They're everywhere. Are they turkeys? Wild turkeys? Hey, Jive Turkey, where are you? I don't know. Look at look at these things. They're everywhere. They're giant. There's hundreds of them. Hundreds. Hey, you stupid looking turds. You probably make good eating. I'd shoot you and eat you, but I don't know how to, you know, cut you up. And I didn't bring a gun this time. I decided to not bring a gun because there's so much weirdness going on that uh, if I got pulled over, I'd... Look at those things. What the hell? What are you? <whistles> Boo -boo! Boo -boo! <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But this is where my ancestors uh, lived. It was called... Uh, Bellevue back in the 1800s and they changed it to Pintura which is paint in Hispaniola so this is the other I usually shoot the other side where the cemetery is and they're all dead and they don't talk much it just snowed up here last night I missed it and I decided to wait until it's about two quarter after two mountain time but I wanted it to dry up because going up this called Black Canyon uh -uh. because as soon as you hit the uh, part of the road that is a bridge it's it takes forever it's the first thing to freeze and then it thaws pretty quickly too so look at see I'd like to live here I would love to live right there Look at that. Look at all that. I bet you half of those, this stuff is my ancestors. There's no way of proving it. But only my ancestors settled here. Or people who, who, live, who uh, married into the family. Sylvester and uh, Hanks and Gregerson and... Gregerson's married into Hanks and Sylvester. And Batty. Batty married into Sylvester, my putty tat, and uh, yeah, Hanks and married into Sylvester, Sylvester married into Batty, and Batty married to Skews, and then that's it. And the Skews married a Simril, and all the Simrils lived to be a hundred except for my mom. Still kind of not happy about the whole thing. There's a, I mean, I know I'm not doing good because, <laughs> what is it? 
It's a song, uh, it's on Alice Cooper Goes to Hell. It's the first thing I wanted to hear today. Because I had that song Guilty in my head. So I threw on the album. So I'm right, what am I on? See? That is the greatest song. This is the first Alice album I ever bought. My Uncle Tony told me to buy it. He's like, you gotta get this and Black Sabbath, uh, Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath. And those are two not, you know, they're, they've got classics, like classic Sabbath, like Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath is a classic Sabbath song. But the rest is not. And on this album, every other song is a ballad. So I'm like, look at all this farm stuff. I wish I could move here and like get some of this. Like, dude, can I just put some, I know they put it out here to display so people with money will go, can I buy that for $5,000 hairs? But I just, see, I know my Uncle Cecil had something like that in his backyard up in, in Orm. Not like that. He had a lot of stuff though. He was a rock hound. So when he'd find, look at that wheelbarrow. Look at those pumps, all of those pumps. Ted and Tammy Ranch. But uh, yeah. So he was a rock hound and he'd find all this stuff when he'd come down here or wherever he'd go hunt for rocks and he'd polish them. He had thousands, hundreds of thousands of rocks. He gave them to one of his kids or the kid took them, I don't know. Most of his kids wound up pretty jacked up and so did his grandkids. Actually, his, uh, so it was Michael Cecil, my grandmother's brother. So his daughter's daughter is my grandma's brother's daughter's daughter I dated. <laughs> I met her at a family reunion, man. But I think that was, an, that's far enough away, I'm pretty sure. It is far enough away legally, but, yeah, you know, she looked good back then. She's all married and... And, uh, well, you know, look at, she's like us all. Look at, I'd even take that. I'd take that shack. Give me the shack. I'll keep it. And I'll put a trailer in front of it. Anything. I don't know. Maybe I should start looking around here. I don't know. I, I, I haven't looked in this area in, in a while. Because I just, you know, I got to get up north. It's supposed to, a storm might blow in tonight. The storm is going to blow in. I mean, if it got down here, it's going to, it's going to get up to where I'm going. I've got six more hours of driving. I'm going right to Idaho. Logan, Utah, northern Logan. Look at this guy. Look at, hey, goat. Hey, Billy Goat. Hey, your name Billy? Go. Look at this is a friggin' goat farm. See, wouldn't it be? And there's a lump. <laughs> <laughs> Come on over. Talk to me. Hey, what are you doing? Really? 
That's quite interesting. Man! See, my grandpa raised these things. He milked them, he ate them, he made cheese, everything. He lived to be 107, so there you go. Man! How you doing? He's not a goat. These guys chewing on the bark. You think he'd be barking more? See, is this not better than living in California? <laughs> I know, that's what I'm trying to tell them. Look at goat butt. Hey, what do you want for dinner? Uh, goat butt. Hey, goat. You know, all of this property, my uh, Uncle Cecil, whose uh, daughter's daughter's daughter I had relations with, uh, oh, we, we owned all of this. All of this, all up there, where they're mining. He sold it all for like, Forty-five or seventy thousand dollars, and then split it up among four uh, of the relatives, the uh, siblings, my grandma and her three sisters, or two sisters. So one, two, grandma and Uncle Cecil. Yeah. And my grandma was going to kill him because he did it in the seventies, and. If you remember in the 70s, which much, most of you don't, but if you ask Moose, the guy that was uh, worked for KISS, he bought a bunch of property up here. Thanks for the dust bath, you jack knuckle. I just got this thing freaking... But there you go. Look at that. I'll live in that house. And that's kind of harsh. No windows. Let's be. No. Eh. Hey. What the heck? I wouldn't. I mind living in that house. See, but you got the mining right there. That pisses me off. I want that done. If they're done with it, I wouldn't mind living there. But all right. So this is a uh, Bellevue or Pintura. It's now Pintura. Look at they took down the old dish and put up a new fancy dish. Look at that sideways basketball thing. I think they're getting their mail or pissing. I don't know what they're doing. All right, this is this and this is that. And I'm gonna I'll talk to you later. I'll tape later. Bye.